Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Now, this could be your story of the story of someone who may be in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. This may be related to something from your past. It could be a current event or maybe this is a future prediction for you. All right. Keep in mind the roles could be reversed. He could be a she. She could be a he. Signs and gender are mentioned, but energy is fluid. All right. Energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. You're receiving justice and something. I just did the most of beautiful reading when i tell you like this reading was picking up a twin flame couple either meeting or reconciling going into union oh my gosh it was so beautiful look at this justice in the world i'm so excited about us going into libra season i'm so excited about it i just feel like god has something up his sleeve and he's just about to seriously make sure that the truth comes out and that everything and everyone is in their rightful place by any means necessary and i'm like i'm so here for it mercury retrograde um is over so mercury is now direct however there could be a bit of like um the mercury retrograde post energy all right keep in mind whenever you hear this message is when you're meant to receive it but those of you who watch me consistently, thank you so much. <laughs> you may you may still feel a little bit of turbulence, but things are balancing out. The Four of Pentacles. Mm. So, some of you could be guarded. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody didn't want to let you go. They did not. The Ten of Cups. All right. So you could be a little bit guarded or somebody was very possessive, stingy. They didn't want to let you go. This type of possessive, stingy energy also could be the reason why someone in your life or around you has been struggling to have like to manifest abundance. This is also just a message to you. Make sure that you are not so guarded that um, you're not allowing yourself to reach that vibration of love. Like you have to be a vibrational match for the things that you're manifesting. And a lot of you, you're, you're dreaming, you're fantasizing, you're manifesting um, wish fulfillment, happiness, satisfaction, especially in your relationships, um, in your job, in your household. In order to have that, you're going to have to let go. That's the energy that I just keep getting. And I feel that because so many people were affected by all of this retrograde energy, you have to let go of that hurt. You have to let go of that confusion and that conflict, that hurt, that pain, that confusion. Well, the hurt and the pain is what's causing you to feel so confused and conflicted about actually allowing yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be happy. Do you hear me? Please love like you've never been hurt before. Be happy. This prosperity, this abundance, you've been manifesting this for so long. Page of Swords is here. Someone has been looking at your money. They've been looking at your finances, what's happening in your home life. Okay. Your overall security and stability. It doesn't matter. Okay. There could have been some delays because you've had eyes on you, but still what is for you is for you. The Ten of Wands is in the reverse. So with the Ten of Wands being in the reverse, it's for sure. Like somebody here wanted to put burdens on you so that you could not move forward. The King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is probably who has been in your energy in this Four of Pentacles energy. This is someone who is most likely very power hungry, very materialistic. Um, this person is clinging on to stability and security so much but this is the kind of person they want you to be loyal to them but they don't know how to be loyal to you because this person is always only loyal to themselves and to making money so somebody here who never had your best interest at heart who was just very low vibing all about um structure discipline you be loyal to me i do what i want to do type energy this person has been watching your ten of cups and they've been trying to hold on to you. To be honest, they could have even tried to hex or curse you in some type of way. They were trying to put enough burdens on you with the Ten of Wands in the reverse so that you could never get out of it. But you did. Because while you were delayed, it put you on some type of path for you to learn a lot about yourself. So now, once you have a certain level of awareness, a lot of foolishness that comes your way is automatically going to be transmuted. So thank God for the good, bad, evil, and the ugly. Okay? 
Yeah, this is a very, very possessive, jealous, envious type of person. And they like to hold on to people for their own control and their own personal gain. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. The Two of Wands, you understanding this, you having this mental clarity and this breakthrough. For a lot of you, you've been under like a spell. So I'm going to be honest. Or it's not so much a spell. It's not just a spell for some of you. Just a collective energy. Everything has been going in the reverse. So you may have kind of gotten off your, your path for a moment because you needed to see the truth about something from the past. Yeah. And now that you see it. So many of you, it was like you had to be put in a, in a, a cycle, a phase or a season where you had to truly weigh the pros and the cons of a situation. I feel that for a lot of people who were kind of in between worlds trying to figure out, you know, do you need to go back or do you need to move forward? Do you need to reconcile with someone or whatever the case is? You should really be getting the breakthrough and the clarity that you need now. A lot of you now, when you see it, it's like if you were having problems with stripping yourself away from someone, I feel that God is about to reveal things to you that you just can't turn the other cheek to. Like they're going to show you just how ruthless, how stingy, how manipulative your friends, family and these lovers are so that you have the mental clarity that you need with the Ace of Swords to see that it is truly time for you to embrace something new. There is a heartbreaking situation from your past that has really had a hold on a lot of people. Whether it's with friends, family, or lovers, or all of the above. The two of wands, though, this is you now taking action and for sure planning for the future, moving forward. A million mile journey, it starts with a single step. And the first thing you need to do is realize that the reason why you could not manifest the Ten of Cups was because you were being held by this King of Pentacles in the reverse. For some, this is a father figure. It could be a father wound, wound that you have. You could have had difficulties um, with either having an absent parent or you could have been in a household where you had a father figure who was stepdad, whomever, who was just very, very toxic, holding on to you, being very possessive, um, you know, talking down on you when it comes to you manifesting abundance for yourself or whatever. There is a mindset. There is some type of conditioning that has been formed from you constantly um, being sort of like broken down, honestly. Like this is a lot of mental and emotional abuse. And now the hangman is in the reverse. This is a new perspective. You're getting a new perspective now about this King of Pentacles in the reverse. You're realizing that like, wow, you may have actually been holding on to this person hoping wishing and praying for them to do well and you're about to realize that wow the reason why you couldn't manifest abundance or the reason why this person couldn't manifest abundance was because that this is like a i just heard sour patch kid <laughs> this person is just sour so i don't know what the noise is outside see what i said see what i'm talking about mercury retrograde see it's trying to hit me at the end Every day I have technical difficulties. Now it's something trying to interrupt this reading with a bunch of noise. Oh, it's always something, right? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Yeah, somebody can't move forward. They can't manifest work. Somebody's money is about to just be blocked because they're so low vibrational. And this person who has this crazy obsession with you. Oh my gosh, I really don't know what that is. Maybe somebody's doing lawn work. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to end the reading. It's noisy out there though. Oh. What in the world? That's just that's just like the enemy don't want you to hear the truth. Like, <laughs> whatever. I don't care. Three of Pentacles. Somebody here has been obsessed. And this three, this group of three, which to me is like some kind of cult, coven, secret society or whatever. Someone could have been paying a group of people to send a lot of spiritual attacks towards you. That's over. Like something here has been dismantled. It's no longer going to work. Somebody has run out of money. Or like I said, the hex or the curse, it has just been broken. All right. This could have been done in the past. There was some kind of hex or curse that was placed over you for you to be stuck in paranoia and fear, losing sleep. They wanted you to just be completely mentally exhausted, unable to rest, because if you're in that state of mind, then you can't manifest. This person had always been looking at the type of connection that you had coming towards you. 
All right. For some of you, this could be an ex lover, like I said, friend, family member. This could even just this is energy. It could be um, a spiritual spouse, uh, an energy of someone that's no longer even here in this realm. But it could be a bloodline curse or something like that, where somehow you've been hexed or cursed to not have love. This energy here, it's a very it's a monitoring type of energy. It watches you. It feels like an entity or someone has conjured up an entity to watch and to monitor your love life. This is, to me, it looks like a spiritual spouse. And when I say spiritual spouse, I'm not saying like, oh, a divine partner. I mean a spiritual spouse as in you were contracted to something that was almost demonic in the spirit world um, that you've been married to. Whether knowingly or unknowingly, something has attached to you or it was conjured up and sent towards you. And every single time you get clarity or you get love, this is what comes in there. Now, another way for me to interpret this is also for many people. When we talk about different entities and spiritual spouses, like the way I know it to be, your pain will become an entity in itself. Let me let me break this down to you. You can be so afraid of dealing with a person who's going to betray you, take advantage of you, um, try to take away all of your power, lower your self-esteem or whatever, that that will become all that you will manifest. This is an energy that you have to finally break through and just say, I'm not dealing with this anymore. It, for some of you, it's a person. For some of you, yeah, you're being attacked by some type of entity, principality. But for some of you, it's it's in your mind. And every single thing that it comes into your life to attack you spiritually, it starts in the mind. Therefore, if it starts in the mind, it can end in the mind. So if you stop thinking that every person that comes towards you, oh, they're not going to be any good. They're going to be jealous. They're going to be this way, that way. You should stop attracting that type of person. But if that's all that you are accustomed to attracting or that's what has been in your life um, abusing you for so long, this right here is a cycle of self-sabotage that's finally ending. Unfortunately, though, for many of you, there has been a group or this three of pentacles, a family, a group or a cult coven or whatever in the background that has been um, watching you and trying very hard to make sure that you are uncertain, that you have these constant cycles of bad luck like this upheaval of you being broken down. I say that because the tower is here in the reverse. So whatever this recent attack is, it's in the reverse. It didn't work. Thank goodness it didn't it didn't work. What it did is it canceled the past out completely or this could even be past life energy. It was completely canceled out. Because something here, it was in the mind, the eight of swords. It was a mental entrapment here. Some of you, you have a, a fear of marriage. You have a fear of starting a family. You have a fear of success. That's because this energy has been sent to you to keep you in prison. Yeah, seven of swords to keep you lying to yourself. Some of you, a person or something has been trying to even make you question or doubt yourself when it comes to your spiritual path with the hermit card. Somebody wanted to throw you so out of balance that you would no longer seek justice for yourself. Yeah, but there you go. You're moving on. This could be a divine masculine who's moving on now trying to get peace, security, stability in their life, or you're moving on. And what's going to happen is now you taking authority and using your power to get out of this cycle of self-sabotage. You're now going to be able to create this 10 of cups, whether it's you alone, you're making a 10 of cups out of a business, or it's you having a home, a foundation and a love life, whatever it is. The things that are going to bring you peace, balance, and harmony, it comes from your own self-mastery of understanding that you no longer need to be sabotaging yourself. It doesn't matter what people did to you in the past. Don't allow that hurt and that pain to keep you stuck in a cycle of self-sabotage because that's all this is. Page of Swords. People are watching you. They're stalking you. They're, they're observing, trying to figure out what are you doing. For some of you, this is for sure like your family. Or an ex-lover, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is in the reverse. I feel like whoever has been watching you, they don't want you to be... The, the Knight of Wands oftentimes will get like a bad rep. Like, oh, that person is... Um, they're hot and cold, this and that. This Knight of Wands, to me, for, for one, you have a person, they don't want you to actually be passionate about going after new things. But you also have a person in the Knight of Wands in reverse energy who is um, very reckless. 
and somebody gets reckless when they see you happy for some of you this is definitely like an entity so when you get happy somebody is they're all about crashing and burning something in your life every single time this person looks at you they they read your energy or whatever this entity or whatever it senses that you're doing well and the entity can be a group it could be someone in your workplace every time they see you get a promotion somebody wants to make something hard for you you know every single time you get approved for a new schedule somebody wants to make it difficult for you um every time you get into a new relationship you have that friend or family member that wants to talk you out of it, it it's just this is it's self mastery it's learning it's you learning really how to process information for yourself and no longer care about what anybody else is saying you're putting up the spiritual boundaries and the protection that's needed for you to say i don't care what you think what you say where you got it from or where you're going you know exactly where you're going and you're not going to waver on that or that should be your attitude some of you you're listening to too many people tell you what you should or could do or what you shouldn't do and they're leading you down the wrong path on purpose. These are people who want to hold on to you. I feel like I'm for sure talking about a divine masculine. There's a divine masculine out here who has a father figure or some, some friends, family or whomever. They are holding on to what they've been taught by these individuals. And they're finally needing to see the reason why you can't manifest anything is because you refuse to look at things in a new perspective. Somebody here was power hungry. Or they were being advised by the type of person that's all about power and structure. Like, it's a distorted masculine energy is what it is. Somebody thinks that if they look like they have money or if it looks like they're in control, that makes them a man. No, you're weak <laughs> because you don't even know how to give love or receive it. So that means that you're not on a, a frequency. You're not on a love or Christ consciousness if all you know is power. You're a narcissist. So, but this is the kind of person that for many of you, you've escaped this person and the king of pentacles or whoever, this could be a woman, but somebody has finally gotten, gotten someone's hooks out of them. And you're like, wait a minute. No, like I'm not doing that. The eight of wands in the reverse. Some of you, you've blocked communication with this person or you're not allowing them to travel towards you. You're not, um, yeah, you're not, you're not traveling towards this person. You're not traveling with this person. And whatever you're doing energetically, it's stopping their energy from hitting you. And what it is, is that you're healing because the star is here. You're healing and you're becoming more optimistic about the, the future. You're, you're getting in touch with your own reality. The queen of cups, three of cups, the magician. You're manifesting what you want from a place of strength and courage, or that's what you need to do. You need to stop allowing this person to tamper with you energetically. It's, the, it's really the thought of someone that is keeping you blocked. If you are a divine feminine, if you're a divine masculine watching this, your um, distorted perception of what a man is, it needs to change. Because you thinking that being macho makes you a man, you're not. Because half of these men that's out here thinking that they're men, they can barely protect or provide. Because they're so busy trying to be stingy. If my hands are balled up, then God can't give me anything. It's real simple. So you have to have the strength and the courage at this time, like I said, to tap into your emotions and allow your emotions to help you manifest. But don't be gullible. Don't be naive about it. Some of you definitely want to manifest love and there's nothing wrong with that. But you want to manifest healthy, true love. You want ten of cups love. You don't want a, a love that is controlling or is boastful or is prideful. You want love that is, is, is tender. It's kind. It's a strong love. Strength. Two of cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody was trying to keep you in this ongoing battle of feeling battered, bruised, and broken down so that you would never even believe in love again. This is just, um, if this is the person in your life, this is like an extreme narcissist, Nine of Wands. This person was wearing you out spiritually, and the whole time they knew that you were the Divine Feminine. But they were trying to, wear, this person was persistent and consistent at beating you down spiritually. Yeah, you have to stand up for yourself and walk away from this person in order for you to embrace your journey as a high priestess. And a high priestess doesn't mean that you read tarot or you're into divination or anything. High priestess is simply you learning how to trust your own intuition. Learning that when your intuition tells you to let go, let go. And stand up for yourself and what you believe in. 
Yeah, five of swords. When you see a bunch of red flags in conflict, why are you sticking around for it? Somebody has had you in a cycle of doing that and it looks like they came in once again or, they, or they're planning to try to come towards you and you're going to really have to stand up for yourself and say, no, I'm walking away because there's too many conflicts. There's too many disagreements. This person leaves you feeling defeated because for, for some people, it's OK for you to forgive others. But let's be honest, you're not going to actually forget some of the betrayals that people have made you go through. You're not going to forget how people have had you at rock bottom. So you don't have to deal with the persons who forgive them, forgive them and let them go. That doesn't mean, oh, yeah, you get to come back in my life and I give you an opportunity to disturb my peace and drag me through hell once again. No. Somebody thought that they were going to keep doing this. And for some of you, it's a family member. It could be a mo I'm getting mother or even father figure. There, this is just the this is just the the cycle of a narcissist. They use you, they abuse you, they discard you, they come back. You know, while they, after they discard you, they go out, they do their whole smear and slander campaign on your name. They try to sabotage your business. Then when everything breaks down and falls apart for them, they come back into your life to figure out, are you as, are you as not even gullible as you were the last time that they left you in shambles? You have to cut this off and say, no, I'm not doing this. Some of you, you finally have recognized that there is a person in your life that you cannot let this person. I think when you read about narcissism, like Hoover. It, it's hoovering or like where they, they just keep coming back doing this check-in process. You have to stop, say no, no more. Move on. Move on and don't let go. The chariot. You need to be determined to get away from this, per this person, especially if you want your own four of wands. The ten of swords, somebody here wanted you at rock bottom. And also somebody has been sitting in energy towards you with the page of cups in the reverse and the ten of swords. They wanted to make sure that all romantic offers in your life, it failed. The four of wands, but you have the ten of swords in the reverse and the page of cups. Somebody wanted you to be single forever. And heartbroken. Three of swords in the reverse. Whatever kind of heartbroke, heartbreak that you went through, they wanted to make sure that you never ever came out of it. That you never had any kind of awareness with the judgment in the reverse. That you never woke up and the lovers. That you never had love. It's, it's real simple. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of Pentacles. And they were sending illusions and conflict hoping that you would go broke at the same time. So somebody just wanted you broke, busted and disgusted. Period. Seven of Cups. Stuck in an illusion, unable to move forward. You could have been dealing with the King of Cups. Okay. Or this King of Cups is the person that's coming towards you. Yeah, because of Queen of Cups. You have a King of Cups, a mature masculine who is devoted. They're faithful. They actually want the Ten of Cups. That's who's coming towards you. But this is a situation that comes towards you slowly. It requires patience because it's practical. It's real. It's, it's grounded. Page of Wands. You're going to soon receive some exciting news about something. Or someone, wow. And what it is, is that something is finally being balanced. The temperance. Yeah, the queen of swords. You can put your sword down because spirit is about to reveal to you that, hey, you transmuted some kind of energy. You're an alchemist. You have this yin and yang type of energy. The queen of swords in the reverse. I, it's like if you've been in this kind of guarded energy, you can put that sword down. You could be attracting a person who has also been in the same energy because the king of wands is in the reverse. So I feel like because of how these two cards came out, it's very similar to the message that I posted about the twin flames. Some of you twin flames out here, you and your person both have gone through so much, so many um, periods in your life of bad luck and juggling. Both of you are kind of up in arms when you come across each other. You're going to have to use self-control and do things in moderation to realize like divine feminine you can put your sword down you don't have to be snappy at this person and this masculine they don't have to be so aggressive that's why i was getting earlier like that distorted masculine energy oh i'm never gonna let you know some men when they've gotten their heart broken it's i'm never gonna let another woman take advantage of me and you know divine feminine is over here i'm never gonna let another man take advantage of me and all this rah rah like calm down because the balance is here. You don't have to do all of that anymore. You already, like, you've already been in the trenches. You're, you're, you're coming out. Allow yourself to see the light of day. Ace of Wands. What'd I say? 
It's a past your new beginning, Knight of Cups. Queen of Wands. Somebody could have had a very karmic energy around them. Okay. That's coming to an end. And this is going to allow you now to embrace your own Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands, I don't like. <laughs> in tarot, the Queen of Wands kind of comes out as the other woman. But anybody can embody the positive attributes and energy of a Queen of Wands. For some of you, when this new person comes into your life with this Ace of Wands, as you embrace this new romantic offer and you follow your heart or this new business partner or whatever, it's going to be life changing with the Ace of Wands, the death card. It's going to make you feel vibrant, confident, sexy, assertive. It's going to make you want to be more creative. You're going to be thinking about like manifesting. Some of you may be doing vision boards, mood boards, prayer boards, manifestation. Like you're all about having happiness and wish fulfillment because this new energy is coming in and it truly is life changing because you're going through a transformation. Some of you, you're going to get confirmation soon. They're like, wow, the worst is truly over. The Hierophant here, this very um, strict by the book person possibly like magician occultist or whomever or someone that's hyper religious whatever that has been holding on to you and holding you back yeah you gotta let them go the five of cups there's no point in you being regretful about not having this person for some of you this is someone that was trying to change your religious beliefs or they don't believe in marriage or something like they wanted you to conform but now the illusion is over. The moon is in the reverse. There's no more illusions here. The truth is, is that you were dealing with an extreme narcissist, the king of swords. You see now that this person, they make head over heart decisions. For them, it's all logic. So to them, this is the kind of person, for instance, they feel like to be in a, um, what do you call it? A polygamous relationship, it makes sense. Why? Because they're like, well, to be in a poly relationship, I get to make a bunch of money. So divine feminine, you need to, you need to be okay with that. No, you don't. If that's not what you want, Divine Feminine, you don't have to conform to this person's way of being. If someone is hyper-religious and you know that you're not, you don't have to conform to You don't have to conform to anything that you don't want to do. Don't let these people fool you because they're narcissists. They're trying to take your kindness for weakness. Look at this. The lovers and the ten of pentacles. Wow. What did I read? Um, this is this is about the ego. Narcissism is all about the ego. The ego is always going to come in to divide things and people. When you choose to remove the ego and allow the ego, then that's where unity and healing comes in. The lover speaks of a choice. You have to make a choice to go towards a person following your heart that's going to allow you to stay in that, that energy of being grounded. A person that gives you options and the choice to always be yourself. Some of you, you get caught up in people that give you options, especially Ten of Pentacles when they have money. But that's, let's be honest, they're giving you options, but the only options are things that benefit them. They don't give you any options that benefit you or your life path. And that's the type of person that many of you, you were dealing with. This could have been someone who was wealthy. They wanted to build an empire. It was all about wealth. It was all about structure and stability. Yeah, you be loyal to me, but I'll never be loyal to you is what this person was thinking. This person is loyal to money, to, to um, status. And they were determined to make you conform to their way of being. Now that you finally see the truth, and I think it took Venus in retrograde and Mercury in retrograde. For some of you, this person came in and they broke your heart again. And I think God was like, so are you tired yet? Are you tired of letting this person beat you down in the spirit because you're so, you know, caught up on the idea of being with this person or this type of person? Eight of Wands, you need to block communication and stop dealing with this person. Stop traveling with this person. Stop talking to this person. Stop the communication. Because communicating with this person, it blocks your offers. This person comes in every single time right before this Ten of Cups. You finally needed to see. 
hey, you have a counterfeit. This is not your twin flame. This is a karmic energy that was contracted to come in to rob, steal, kill, and destroy everything in your life. When you let them go, everything else will roll in. It can be a divine feminine and or divine masculine. This is a very low vibrational karmic energy though. The world, yeah, this is over. You've graduated, you've learned this lesson. The world is like spiritual graduation. And now you get to go towards infinite possibilities because you freed yourself from this very bitter, nasty, mean, narcissistic, possessive person. You have to find your place in the world now. Like, what is your sense of belonging? Why do you feel like you belong to this person? Or that they belong to you. And that's why this whole twin flame thing, if you don't really know about the twin flame journal, whether or not you're a twin flame, it can really get you caught up in just being with narcissists. Because you should never think that you belong to a person that wants to take away all of your free will. This car flipped over. The devil. Literally. It's 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 a contract contract to be with the devil. All this person wants to bring about is restrictions. They manipulate you. They're extremely materialistic. This person is addicted to money, success, and certain things. And for them to have what they want, that means that they come in to take your energy and restrict you from doing all of the things that God wants you to do. You better recognize this person for who and what they truly are. Because I'm telling you, once you recognize it, you will, you will, you will see. It'll be like a floodgate of of emotions and abundance that's gonna come into your life. And this could be for some of you an ex lover. It could be a friend or family member. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person now they're having anxiety. They're burdened by you releasing them. They're very disappointed because they can't pull from you energetically any anymore. So this is a, the reason why a lot of you too are about to go into all of this wealth, happiness, and abundance because your energy is going to be your energy again. The high priestess, yikes, high priestess and the empress. I'm telling you, all you have to do is walk away. Stop choosing to work with this person and collaborate with them. Three of pentacles. Also, when you walk away from this person and they can no longer use your energy, they can no longer take your energy to this group or community. This is your justice. Yeah, you definitely needed to see that this is not a lover. You were thinking that this was like your true love and it's not. Like literally the truth is being revealed to you about who you thought was your twin flame, your lover. It's not. This person's lack of love is what was standing in the way of your true ten of cups. This person was only here ace of wands in the reverse to stop you from having any type of new beginning. That's it. Wow. Da, 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 da. Pretty straightforward to me. Let's see. What is wrong with this person? Coughing. It's over. We don't need to pull nothing else. It's over. Unexpected income is coming. And I'm going to tell you something. Because I've noticed this in my own life over the last 10 years or more. Every single time I get away from somebody that is not good for me, I always see an increase in my money. You will always see an increase in your money and things going well for you when you get certain people out of your life, out of your energy and your environment. Some people, that, that's a, a, a easy way to tell if somebody needs to be around you or not. When you start communicating with the person or letting them come around you, and especially for the people who are, you know, being intimate with somebody, if your money dries up, if your energy suddenly moves, like, is low or you're experiencing a lot of endings or turbulence chaos conflict confusion in your life you need to check who you're dealing with some of you the truth is is that you either have laid with an, your enemy or you're sleeping with your enemy now unexpected income yeah a mature man here could possibly be facing legal issues. This person could be fired from their job or they're in despair because they worked very, very hard to become a wealthy man. Or they or somebody worked really, really hard to stop you from meeting a wealthy man. Also, for some of you, 
you are meeting someone and their money is about to drastically change because someone has been in the background um, trying to curse them to poverty. Take it however it resonates. So like I said, for some of you, whoever has been pulling on your energy, they're about to lose it. They received unexpected income using your energy. They're about to be in despair and facing legal issues. For some of you, the person that you're connecting with, they've experienced legal issues or financial issues because someone was working very hard to curse them to poverty. Take it how it resonates because you do have more than one person possibly in your energy. One is good, one is bad, but they both situations may not look great. Make sure you're using your spiritual eyes, though, because I'll tell you, being judgmental, trying to judge, convict and condemn other people. That's not your job. Because you never know what part of someone's story you walked in just because of the, the chapter that you walked in on marriage. Somebody was really trying to end your connections because you chose something else. The lover's card, the lover speaks of a choice. You chose someone else to go on your journey with. Main female message of concern yeah, about this community. So when you chose to go on your journey with somebody else, a community of people got mad and they all started working on your connection. This false person, this could be you, divine feminine or divine feminine. You have a masculine that's coming towards you and they have this toxic, bitter um, ex that has been doing everything to try to stop and bind them from moving forward. Yeah, somebody wanted them to be stuck in a courtship or unable to go towards a courtship. But justice is here. Yeah. Official person. An official person is going to, you're going to get a gift. Some kind of um, information, paperwork, gift, an opportunity, new job or whatever. It's going to make you official or it's going to make your person more official or it's coming from an official person. There is going to be a change in someone's status. OK, someone here has been in despair because they've lost something. Their high honor is coming in. This has to do possibly with someone's job. I'm getting for sure. Somebody tries to curse someone to poverty. So what for some of you, it's like you could have an ex from your past. They could be someone who's well off. They've been trying to curse anyone that comes towards you to to be in poverty so that they can't protect or provide you because they want to be seen as a divine masculine no they simply are someone who has money there's nothing divine about this person so they could have been doing spell work to try and stop or block someone that's coming towards you from having money or something like that or from being wealthy that's about to end okay or you have someone coming towards you who if they are having any kind of financial issues, it's because someone from their past or a community or group of people was trying to block them. I feel strongly that a lot of you, you and someone both are mirroring each other. You both have exes, friends, family members, or lovers who have been trying to block your love life and your finances. Okay. It's going to show up differently for both of you. So you could be the divine feminine right now. You could be having financial issues. Okay. Or masculine. However, remember the roles could be reversed. In a twin flame like connection, one of you is having issues with love, friends, family. The other one is having issues with finances. Both of you have been attacked in whatever it is that is your your birthright. So in this connection, somebody is meant to be perhaps very practical. They're meant to be wealthy, um, financially stable. Could be the, the feminine or the masculine. So whoever in their life, their karma some the karmic in their life has been trying to curse them to poverty or you. The other person is like all love and light. Whoever is in their life is trying to make sure that like they never find love. So the two of you both have something to offer to one another when you come into union. But you have to get these people out of your energy that are trying to block your actual gifts. Because you're meant to exchange and share those gifts with one another. So if you put these two people together, they both come with a very beautiful gift. Together, they build a legacy. They have an empire. So the enemy has been trying to keep the two of you apart because it's like, well, if you choose either or. And that's where the conformity comes from. Well, I don't want you to have love, but I'll give you money. I don't want you to have money, but I'll give you love. No, God said you can have all of that. You can have both. Somebody hexed you or tried to. Yeah, trying to dig up dirt on you. This is stupid. That's 
like 20 cards. Bad cycles of luck. Yeah, blocked root chakra. Somebody just wanted you to have issues. The block, block root chakra, that would be the reason for all of the self-sabotage energy. Issues with your security, with your stability, feeling like you don't have the support of friends and family. Okay, psychic attacks causing you headaches migraines, block sacral chakra. What did I just say? See, that's why that's why spirit just threw all these cards out at one time. All these cards just came out. Spirit said you already know who this is. But look, what did I just say about one person having love and the other person having money? You have block root chakra and block sacral chakra. That's like um in the reading that I did before high priestess and the emperor one of you is very creative you're you you make money or you're abundant from your creativity that's a, an energy of fertility fertility and creativity is your divine feminine the stability the security the structure that's your yang energy that's divine masculine so somebody here blocked divine masculine from having stability and security or being able to support themselves or their family. Somebody wanted to block divine feminine from being able to have the intuitive guidance or the wisdom to pretty much manifest or even tell this masculine when he's being black, uh, blackmailed, blocked or whatever from manifestation. Some of you, you haven't met this person yet. But when you do meet this person, both of you are going to come with some form of baggage. And part of your next test is to learn how to um, coexist with another person because, like I said, love is patient and it's kind. Can you deal with this person even though they have a blockage in their root or sacral chakra? Because when you can overcome that, the two of you, and you take the ego out of it, you can have unity and healing. That's where the peace comes in. Somebody is trying to cause a person to have car problems. Mercury retrograde energy, um, dent scratches. Somebody could have had a fender bender, dead battery. So it's like, here you are, you're trying to go to um, an important meeting or an event. All of a sudden you have car problems. Your, your um, tire pressure light is on. You have a flat tire. You have a dead battery. This somebody sending you spell work. Somebody hating on your creative ideas, right? Every time you get up and try to go somewhere, somebody wants to block you. Just like earlier, all of that noise happening. And what I, I was like, I'm not going to stop the reading. And that's how you have to wake up every day. You can't stop because somebody's going to keep on watching you, try, trying to figure out, are you happy? It's always all eyes on you and whatever you're doing because these are energy vampires. Somebody could be trying to cause you to have blurred vision, a loss of hearing. If you pay attention to those things, that's definitely letting you know sometimes that a person is trying to spiritually or um, attack you or send you a psychic attack. Headaches, um, dizzy spells, blurred vision. Sometimes if your vision is blurred, your blurred vision, that's connected to your crown and your third eye. That could mean that somebody is trying to do like third eye or crown chakra magic on you. Somebody definitely wants to just block off all your chakras, but I feel like I'm picking up a couple. One of you, somebody has been working on your root chakra and the other your sacral. But whether you're with somebody or not, even if you are in like a twin flame relationship, what affects you, it affects them and vice versa. So your root chakra and sacral chakra, you need to be working on cleansing and clearing that out and removing yourself from all like toxic um, situations, like really getting that bad juju off of you. Black tourmaline or tourmaline may help you. It says it helps to clear and repel negative energy from the body. So some of you may want to wear a stone if you're into that or put it in your home. It helps you to feel more grounded and peaceful because somebody is definitely trying to make you feel like, oh my gosh, the world is going to end. No, their world is ending. It's nothing, it's nothing wrong with you. Amethyst, look at this. Envious of your career. Envious of your pregnancy. What did I just say? Feminine, sacral, pregnancy. Masculine, career, finances, root chakra. Isolation causing friends and family to be mean and cold towards you. This isn't going to work. It didn't work. The energy has already been cleansed and cleared out. That is an idiot. Somebody loves you. Despite all of this happening. It's an enchanted love. 
Oh, the foolishness. But it doesn't matter. Overall, this is a, a very powerful message. You've obviously healed. And you are free. Freedom. There you have it. Freedom. You have pleasure coming. Sacral chakra. Somebody could have definitely been doing something with your sacral chakra so that you couldn't feel any type of pleasure. You're going to have pleasure and someone is going to come in and please you. Um, and I'm not talking about just sexually. You're going to finally have that um, creativity that's going to be very pleasing to you. Mind, body, spirit. So like it's not even about sexual, but for some of you, there will be some kind of sexual healing here. Or you are just going to feel nice having romance because somebody sees you as their life partner and you're their main attraction. You're the best part of this person's life. Like I said, a lot of you, you and another person have both gone through pure hell and you're coming together, having deeper intimacy. You're their safe place and they're yours. You're, you're making a move now because you have clarity about this toxic narcissist in your energy this narcissistic person the only thing that they wanted from you was your pleasure because they wanted to manifest off of you that's it yeah this person was only thinking about a power couple situation so they wanted to use you sexually so that they could manifest money they didn't care about you this was never about life partnerships yeah, this person only saw this. Oh, I want to be able to travel the world and we can be a, a power couple and do all this and that together. So it was just about sex with this person. And they created a fantasy and an illusion trying to make you think that they were your twin flame, trying to convince you that they were your mirrored soul. No, they saw that you had gifts and a light and they wanted to steal it so that they could manifest money. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, you've been tricked and bamboozled into thinking that because a person has money, that because their life looks like it's together, that that's your person. No. And anytime you find a person in your life and you feel like they are in some way better than you and you're trying to be with them because you think they're better than you, that's all the more reason for you to definitely look at yourself. Because I don't, I don't have to look at somebody else that has money to try to get it. I can get money on my own. You can have money today. It can be gone today. Always keep that in mind when you're looking for a wealthy man or woman. Never be a gold digger. Be a gold digger. G-O-A-L. Wait, the timing isn't quite right. Well, I say strictly sexual. Somebody was never available to give you anything. All they wanted to do was reject you. And you know you can't be vulnerable with this person. Their rejection was divine protection, though. It was therefore a spiritual lesson teaching you how to release what doesn't serve you and to how to have boundaries. Yeah, somebody wanted a second chance with you only for stability. Warning, do not miss the red flags here. This person only wants to be with you for finances. Yeah, this person wants to marry you for finances. This is a gold digger, an energy vampire. They, they don't care about anything else, but taking advantage of you this person is actually a feminine hater they don't even think that you should have what you have they want to dictate and control you sleep with you drain you of all of your sexual sacral energy so that they can manifest that's it and for some of you this person they don't even want to be in a relationship with you because the truth is they're in a relationship with somebody else or even married to somebody else they just want to steal all of your energy for their own to, to help their marriage and their finances. And I feel like spirit was like, Hey, wait, wait a minute before you start jumping into this situation, thinking about a second chance. So for some of you, this person for sure came in doing Mercury retrograde for some, I don't feel like this person was able to physically connect with you, but they definitely were trying to telepathically or spiritually connect with you to draw your energy back in. And I feel like Archangel Michael and God was at the front and the back door. Like, no, you were for sure protected from this person because they were only in your in your life for a reason for this season so that you could learn to reject people who only want you for your sacral chakra and root chakra energy. For some, there's men out here who have been with women. They only want you because you can protect and provide or you look a certain way to their family. You represent what they want their family or what tradition looks like for them. That's the only reason why they're with you. It's time for people to be aligned with the right, with like-minded people who don't have these 
really bad, like nasty ulterior motives. That's not that's not cool. It's not okay. But if you are codependent or you feel like you need another person to make you look a certain way to the community or to help you manifest money, then you're always going to attract energy vampires because the truth is you're an energy vampire. You're take, you want to take someone else's energy to add credibility to yourself. I hope this isn't you guys, but I'm just saying some people will get into that type of energy and not realize whenever you go into a situation with any person, whether it's business, it's personal, platonic or whatever, if you are only going into it to get something out of it, don't ever be surprised when you get schemed or, or scammed out of something that you came to the table with because you went to the table with that person in hopes of getting something from them. And it wasn't based on pure intentions. <laughs> Y'all, I have not used this deck in over a year. I'm just like, the energy is so new. I'm just using different decks. What does it say? Materialistic love. It looked good on paper. But this person was giving you mis mixed signals. They just wanted to be able to say that they got you. This could have been a very deep and intensive kind of love, but what you don't know is that this was going to quickly, or it did quickly turn into a very abusive relationship. Look at this blast from the past divorcee. Some of you, this person, they recently gotten divorced or they're thinking about divorcing someone and they try to come in, but see you're on guard. Why? Because for some of you, it's time for you to have a fun connection. Once again, your fertility your sacral chakra, you should be in a relationship with someone that is not going to give you mixed signals. They're, they're consistent. The kind of person where you don't have to be on guard. Yeah. This person, they weren't even able to, to really get through to you, but for some of you, you let your guard down enough and you have to find out the hard way not to deal with this person. This person is very indecisive and you may have been thinking that, oh, it's just not, not the right time. I'm waiting on divine timing for this person. You could have met them online and, and they love bombed you and, you know, or this kind of person, you know, they sit around and they talk to you online and they only text you, but they never come around you. You know, they live at a distance like they they're trying to sell you some kind of fantasy that the two of you will be together in time and that they're your your twin flame. So you guys are star crossed lovers, which it says both of you will want to be together, but you feel the stars are working against you. Perhaps it's bad timing. This isn't bad timing. It's not meant to be. You should stay on the on guard from this blast from the past because this person is divorcing someone that they had children with. OK, for some of you, somebody is trying to come in and, and possibly have a child with you. And this person could actually be married to someone. I feel like this was somebody's plan. And when they realized that you weren't going for it, then they got really upset. They got really, really upset with you about it. They could be watching you online. It's all about power. You're going into it's time for you to embrace the unknown. And what's the unknown for you? self-love which is going to lead you to marriage because now you know how to do your shadow work and your healing and how to release codependency this person was codependent on your energy and you were codependent on the idea that this person could love you and they couldn't this person was living in the fast lane all they wanted with you for was to for you to be some kind of power couple with them and again it was all about the sexual chemistry but they always had a secret lover because this person cares nothing about love that's the truth and god was like i need you to see that this this is this is not it please wake up this person wants to, to be abusive they want security stability they come in intense love bombing you like any other narcissist giving you these mixed signals and it's all about the money this person wants your money your spiritual gifts or they want your gifts to help them to get more money that's it they look good on paper so this is the kind of person you see them they look really well put together their life look like looks like it's structured their business looks like it's going really really good but no it's not this person always has a secret lover and they're blocked from love. They have a lot of emotional baggage from the past. 
this person though the connection with this person has blocked you from love now when you get into relationships you have to go very slow and steady because you don't know what teamwork actually looks like because you've been emotionally and spiritually abused by the type of person who only wanted you on their team because they wanted to work you like you was a workhorse Healing the inner child, doing shadow work, going with Anne. That's what Virgo season and Mercury retrograde is, is there for. Mercury retrograde isn't for you to connect with, with the, the past, your past lovers. Mercury retrograde is for you to understand why you even ran into those people. Look at this. Somebody isn't saying much, very introverted, holding back, holding on, clingy. They don't want to let go. Yeah. Passion. Someone is passionate about you. They want to be loyal. I feel like you will manifest this person when you start, when you release this karmic person who's very clingy, who's ruled by ego. Yeah. Then you will receive your good karma. And for those of you who want any kind of blessings or fertility or even pregnancy, there is something here that you have to let go of. And what did I say before? This self-sabotage energy. And you're getting this self-sabotage energy because you still have this karmic partner in your energy. Spirit is saying you need to move on and allow yourself to have this awakening. There is physical and emotional distance between you and someone for a reason. Because all they do is bring you a bunch of arguments and conflict. Could be a fire sign because either they are having financial issues or they want you for some type of come up or the, whatever the case is. You need to see clearly that it's time now for you to redeem yourself. Just let this person go. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong timing. False twin flame. This, this is not your person. This person is blocking your real person. Your marriage. The proposal. The, the, the honest, loyal, committed person. Or even somebody here is blocking you from having a successful partnership in business. Air sign could be significant. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody want, wants to come forward. Somebody is missing you within a few weeks. Yeah, you have more than one option. You have to choose the one that's, that's best for you. Because somebody here wants to fly in or possibly travel. They want to betray you. They're cheating. For some of you, you have a person that's it's like they're determined to pursue you, but they're always cheating. This could be the type of person. They're a, a real fast, smooth talker. Could be an earth sign, king of pentacles in the reverse. They can travel toward, they have the money and the means to do all of this. They can travel towards you. They like to talk. They're very popular perhaps with their, their circle of friends or in their community. And they're determined. Like this person, they carry that masculine energy. Like they're very dominant. But it's a distorted energy. This person is a narcissist. And they don't believe in commitment. It's a past life connection you have with them. That you need to release. This person doesn't want to be committed to you. They'll be committed to several people. They're really trying to build an empire full of, of um, like concubines is what they really want. They see people, women, especially if this is a man, you're supposed to be there to support their dreams. Make them money. Build up their empire. This isn't about love. But until you see the truth about it. You guys, if you hold on to this fantasy of being a power couple and traveling the world with this narcissist, you're going to be stuck. Yeah, you need to be going for a life partner that allows you to be free, who believes in monogamy, if that's what you want. Stop letting this person trick you and fool you. In the physical or in the spirit, because when they can't get your attention physically, they go in the spirit to spiritually attack you. And that's really pathetic. You can't get somebody to do what you want, so you go and you spiritually attack them and actually think that they want to be in a relationship with you. Make it make sense. And this person does not want you to have children with anybody or even co-parent. For some of you, this is someone you were married to or had kids with. They don't want anyone to be around you or their kids, and they may not even be taking care of their kids themselves. It's just, it's, it's just possession. This person believes in dictatorship control and possession they don't even see you as like a human being i hate to say it but somebody needs to hear the truth so that's the reading but all in all you have somebody that wants to be good to you 
you just have to see the truth about the person who's bad for you. Okay, so I love you guys. Always go within so that you never go without. Be sure to do your shadow work, your healing. Say your prayers <laughs> for protection. All right, um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.